Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Brittany and today's video is a vlog to Denver, Colorado. Josh and I traveled to Denver, Colorado back in May to attend the concert at the Red Rocks. This was for the Sleep Token concert. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the band Sleep Token. I have mentioned them quite a few times here on my channel and we were lucky enough to snag some tickets to attend their show in the Red Rocks in Denver, Colorado. We stayed at the Lime Light Hotel and it was an amazing cozy and cute hotel i am doing a little bit of a room tour this is one of their suites i want to say it was the aspen suite but i don't remember exactly josh was the one who booked this hotel but it did have a little table with a little breakfast nook like a dining area it did have a full furnished living room with a couch a chair um, entertainment center with a tv and it also did have a little coffee machine, like a K-cup coffee machine in the room here. But later on in this vlog, you will see the main coffee machine in the lobby downstairs. Oh my gosh, that coffee machine was a dream. I got coffee every single morning downstairs and that saved me a lot of money. There was a Starbucks right across the street but um, the coffee from the machine downstairs was phenomenal. It tasted just as good, if not better than Starbucks, and it was free. I looked up the cost of that machine. It's like $17,000, um, so definitely out of budget, but I wanted just to see how much it would even cost to even have, but that's like a commercial size one. I'm sure they make smaller ones, which I didn't look into, but anyways, moving on, this is our bedroom. I don't know what size the bed was, maybe like a queen, but it had some really pretty wood paneling um, along the back of the bed and then all the way up to the ceiling. There was also another TV in the bedroom here. And there was some free water on the nightstand. Usually you have to pay for any little goodies that are in the bedroom, but they did give us two free waters, which it was Dasani in a can. I don't know about you guys, but I love liquid death water. It's like water in a can is superior to water in a water bottle. They definitely taste different. Now, um, our bathroom was another dream. Like, I love hotel bathrooms, like, especially if they have, like, a deep tub, like, you can soak in. And I did take a couple baths, but don't worry, I cleaned the bath before I even got in. Um, I'm really weird about that stuff, but I always clean everything when we first get there. Um, they had bathrobes to use that were also complimentary. A huge bathtub which came in handy um i've mentioned here on my channel i do suffer from chronic illness and flying in planes flares me up and then throughout this vlog you'll see all of the fun that we had we did a lot of walking a lot of standing and so being able to soak in the tub definitely helped my body um, but it also had a really nice walk-in shower and it had all of the soaps, um, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, all of that available for you for your own use, complimentary with your stay. It had a lot of bright lights, perfect for when you're getting ready, doing your makeup. It didn't have a separate vanity or anything. Um, the ones that usually that I've been to that have a separate vanity is like the ones in Las Vegas. Um, but this one still had plenty of counter space, a double sink, a makeup mirror. They did have a hair dryer. Highly recommend this hotel, which again is called The Limelight. Moving on to our first meal in Denver, we ate at a restaurant called Cholon. And Cholon, maybe that's how you say it. Uh, it was really, really good. Josh has eaten here before when he has traveled. And so he said that we definitely had to eat there. And I am also going to tell you guys 
if you're in Denver, they have two locations and you won't regret eating here. It was so good. We stopped in during happy hour and so we ended up eating um, a variety of the small bites and we just shared them together. First one on the list were these soup dumplings and I made a little whoopsie. I thought you could cut them in half. <laughs> Uh, just watching this back makes me crack up but look what happens if you try to do that they will explode everywhere you're meant to just eat them by the full bite much better that way this is egg cloud toast and this is salmon toast this was cold but it was still really good the egg toast the egg cloud i'm not even sure how to explain it but that is josh's favorite item at this restaurant then we had some calamari, and these were kind of like hush puppies, but like an Asian flair. They were also really good. After dinner, we went to this fun cocktail experience. It was the Land of Oz cocktail experience, and I am a huge, huge fan of Wizard of Oz. I grew up watching Wizard of Oz. And my oldest child, Emma, her favorite movie since she was little, like two years old, was Wizard of Oz. We'd have to watch it every single day. She's been Dorothy. She had a Dorothy costume, everything. So um, this was so much fun. They did like a little skit and they had scavenger hunts and you were able to build your own cocktail. And then at the end, we had a complimentary cocktail and it was like a witch's brew and they had these little sticks that you put in that was full of dry ice and so it actually made your cocktail bubble and I thought that was the coolest thing. This was really enjoyable. Moving on to day two, we decided to eat brunch downstairs in the hotel restaurant, which is called Citizen Rail, and we had a voucher to eat there. I decided to get their burger, which was made with like short rib and brisket. Oh my goodness, it was delicious, as well as the fries. Josh got some oatmeal but I, I think it had chia seeds in there lots of fresh fruit and then he got a lemon blueberry dutch baby pancake it wasn't like a normal pancake it's right there in the middle of the table it was airy and full of flavor and really really good after brunch we decided to go over to meow wolf here in Denver. Josh and I had been to Meow Wolf in Las Vegas. I think last year it was when we went and it is so cool. It is so cool. If you guys have never been and there is one near you, I highly recommend you check it out. Before going on our adventure, we stopped in the little food court here to grab a little snack. We tried this vanilla freeze-dried ice cream I was not a huge fan of it. It tasted too much like milk, and I do not like milk. So I was not a huge fan of this one, but I've had frozen ice cream, not frozen, freeze-dried ice cream before, and it didn't taste like that. Um, so I think it was just this brand I was not a huge fan of, but we did get a Fruity Pebble Rice Krispie Treat, and that tasted 
amazing. It reminded me of childhood because Fruity Pebbles is one, was one of my favorite cereals. I don't really eat cereal that much anymore, but if I did, it would be a Fruity Pebble cereal. While we were sitting here, I decided to get on my phone and scroll Instagram, and I saw that Dustin Kendrew, who is the lead singer of Thrice, was in Denver to perform. Um, he released his own sol solo album in May called Desert Dreaming, and he was not scheduled to come to Arizona, which Josh and I were really bummed about, but... All of the stars aligned, and he was in Denver the same night we were in Denver, and we happened to look up the tickets. There were still some available, and so we we went and saw him later on this day. But back to Meow Wolf, it is a huge building full of art and lights and exploring and you can just get lost in here. There's so many secret passageways and like I said, if you guys have a chance to go, I highly recommend. I don't know if I liked the one in Denver more or the one in Vegas. I think Vegas I do. I don't know. It's hard to say because they're both totally different. Um, but we could have spent almost all day here. But since we ended up booking tickets for the concert, we had to leave a little bit earlier. But this is like an all day thing and it's really kid friendly too. So kids can go along. Um, my kids want to go. So hopefully one day we can take them um, to go to this one in Denver or the other one in Vegas. But they are tons of fun. Let me know in the comments down below if you have been to Meow Wolf and what are your thoughts on it.
few hours later, we went back to the hotel, changed and got ready for dinner and Dustin Kendrew's concert. We decided to have dinner at the restaurant inside the hotel. Again, it's called Citizen Rail. And for an appetizer, we had the crispy pork belly, which was really, really good, especially with the sauce um, that it came with. And then I got a some sort of lamb with like peas and it had some like white cream on it like dressing or side I didn't really care for that part um but the lamb was really good and tender and Josh got the grilled chicken with some like morsel mushrooms and that was really good as well <music> I'm Dustin Kensley. Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, this is fun. Uh, ever since the very first time that uh, I came to Denver with Thrice, uh, it's been like a second home to us. So thank you for making it feel like that tonight. Uh, before we start, let's give it up for Brother Bird. Let's give it up for the brevet who rock for you and is not going to rock with you for you again. All right, let's have a good time. Grandmother's part, we're gonna welcome out Caroline from Brother Bird. Yeah. 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 Someone's called Death Valley, huh? We really enjoyed the concert. Again, that is Dustin Kensrew and his new album, which is a solo album outside of his work with Thrice. It is called Desert Dreaming. It does have some country twang to it, um, which is a newer style for him, his new album. But I really have been enjoying it, and it was a pleasure to see him live in concert. So this is now Sunday, and we stopped into a restaurant. I cannot remember what it's called. Just to grab some lunch, we had this dip. I can't remember. It was like a pimento dip. It was really good. And then I had some collard greens and chicken tortilla soup. And Josh had, I think, shrimp and grits. And then we had to go to Walmart to get pants and jackets and ponchos because it was so cold on this Sunday. I'm talking about in the 40s and 50s and there was rain scheduled in the forecast and the concert, the Sleep Token concert, which was on this Sunday was outside because the Red Rocks Amphitheater is outside. But um, come to find out, it is very, very common for it to rain whenever there's a concert at the Red Rocks. So no one was surprised except people from out of town like Josh and I. So we had to run to Walmart to get stocked up on some items. We arrived about an hour and a half, two hours early before the doors open. One line was already wrapped through the parking lot, but I will say once the gates opened, there was so many check-in points that we got through very, very quickly. So here's the view from the top of the amphitheater. We had to walk all the way down the steps. We ended up being in the fourth row from the stage, which was an absolute dream come true. It was worth every penny. It was worth traveling to. If you guys have never been to the Red Rocks Amphitheater, I highly recommend a trip there. Um, it would be worth all of the money and expense to travel to see a show there. The 
I am just going to show you guys some clips um, of their concert because the lighting was phenomenal. They do such a great job. Um, I do want to do a little warning that there are some flashing lights. So if you are sensitive to that, um, it's okay to fast forward, go to the end. Um, I do share some pictures later on, but I don't want anybody to get um, affected by the flashing lights. But I did want to include some clips of just their stage presence. And I can't play the songs, unfortunately, because of copyright. Um, but so amazing and I am really thankful to have gotten some of this on camera just so I can relive it. Um, this was, like I said earlier, an absolute dream come true to see them live. Um, Sleep Tokens music has really had an impact on me. Um, if you guys ever get the chance to listen to them, I cannot recommend them enough. I know they might not be everyone's cup of tea and they wear masks and they keep their identities hidden, but that just adds to the whole vibe of the band and their music. Now I'm just sharing some pictures from our trip. We had an amazing time and I can't wait to go on another vacation. I feel like I'm already due for one and this was in May and I'm like dying to have another vacation. Uh, we might do a little staycation this summer um, and if we do end up doing that, I'll be sure to vlog it. Let me know in the comments down below, do you have any vacations planned for this summer? I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Again, if you are new here, please subscribe. It's absolutely free and I would appreciate the support. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. I love to chat with all of you in the comments and I do my best to respond to every comment that I get. I hope that you guys have a great week ahead and stay tuned for some more videos. I have some shopping hauls already 
filmed. I just have to edit and post them. And I also have another vlog coming soon from Liam and Mia's 8th grade promotion. So hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that I post. And give me a follow over on Instagram. I am active over there daily. Let me know if you're a fellow content creator and you are new here. I would love to return the support. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.